Neural Control and Coordination Introduction Today is a sunny day. Vishal is in the garden to enjoy the day. Suddenly, he looks at a flower and he likes it. As he approaches the flower, he just withdraws his hand in a fraction of a second. What happened to him? Let's see more closely. When he touches the stem of the flower, the thorn on it pinches him and sensors detect stimuli present below the skin and this stimuli passes to central nervous system and in response, the skeletal muscles contract and he withdraws his hand. So, throughout this module, we learn neural control and coordination. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Describe human neural system Explain structure and functions of neuron Explain generation and conduction of nerve impulse Explain transmission of impulses Describe central neural system Explain reflex action and reflex arc Explain structure and working of human eye and human ear Neural system Neural system controls and coordinates the activities of the body. Neuron is the structural and functional unit of neural system. It carries information from one part of the body to another. The nervous system of invertebrates is smaller with fewer neurons as compared to invertebrates. Human neural system Human neural system is grouped into two parts. Central nervous system Peripheral nervous system Central nervous system can be further divided into brain and spinal cord. Peripheral nervous system includes cranial nerves and spinal nerves. Nerve fibers are of two types. They are afferent fibers and efferent fibers. Afferent fibers These fibers carry impulses from organs or tissues such as sense organs to central nervous system. Efferent fibers. These fibers carry impulses from central nervous system to organs or tissues such as muscles and glands. Peripheral nervous system. Peripheral nervous system has two divisions that are somatic neural system and autonomic neural system. Somatic neural system transmits impulses from CNS to voluntary organs whereas autonomic neural system from CNS to involuntary organs such as cardiac muscles. Autonomic neural system can be further classified into parasympathetic neural system and sympathetic neural system. Parasympathetic division control functions such as inhibiting heart rate, constricting pupils, etc. Whereas sympathetic division often has Opposite effect such as speed up heart rate, dilate pupils, etc. Neuron as structural and functional unit of neural system. A neuron has three major parts cell body, dendrites, and axon. These specialized cells are responsible for receiving and transmitting information. The cell body contains cytoplasm, cell organelles, and Nissel's granules. They are also called granular bodies. Dendrites are extensions from the cell body. They receive neural impulse from receptors and several other neurons and then transmit impulse towards cell body. A long fiber which transmits impulse away from the cell body is called axon. Each axon ends as bulb-like structure called synaptic knob which possesses Neurotransmitters. There are three types of neurons. They are unipolar, bipolar, and multipolar. Unipolar, only one axon is present. Bipolar, one axon and one dendrite is present. Multipolar, one axon and two or more dendrites are present. There are two types of axons myelinated and non myelinated. Myelinated axons are enclosed by Schwann cells that form a fatty layer called myelin sheath and the gap between two consecutive myelin sheath is called nodes of Ranvier. 
whereas in non-myelinated axons, there is no myelin sheath around axon. Generation and conduction of nerve impulse. A nerve impulse is a signal that is transmitted along dendrites or axons due to ions moving across voltage-gated channels in the neuron's plasma membrane. Due to the electrical voltage, the voltage-gated channels open and close, so we can conclude that they are affected by electrical charge around them. A charge difference is maintained between the inside and outside of the cell when a neuron is at rest. By active transport through sodium-potassium pumps, this charge difference is produced and maintained. The pumps send sodium ions out of the cell and bring potassium ions into the cell. While other channels allow some potassium ions flow back out of the cell, whereas the sodium ions cannot easily get back in to replace the lost positive charges. It results that the exterior of the cell has a net positive charge and the interior has a net negative charge. The charge difference between the interior and exterior of the cell is called the resting membrane potential. Now, when a stimulus disturbs the plasma membrane on a dendrite, a nerve impulse begins causing opening of sodium channels. Sodium ions flow into the cell and lessen the charge difference at that location. If the charge is enough, it will cause other voltage-gated sodium channels near it to get open. As so many sodium ions flow into the cell at that location, causing the membrane depolarized with inside the cell having a net positive charge and the outside of the cell having a net negative charge. This also affects neighboring voltage-gated sodium channels, causing them to open and move depolarization along the membrane. This moving depolarization is called an action potential. Changes behind the action potential restore the resting membrane potential. The voltage-gated sodium channels close and voltage-gated potassium channels open due to which a rapid flow of potassium ions out of the cell occurs and repolarizing the membrane again so that inside of the cell is again negative and outside of the cell is again positive. Sodium-potassium pump restores the resting membrane potential and re-establishes the correct concentration of sodium and potassium ions inside and outside of the cell. Transmission of impulses To transmit a signal between two neurons, an electrical impulse must be transferred over a synapse. A synapse is a junction across which an impulse passes from axon terminal to a neuron. It is formed by the presynaptic and postsynaptic neuron. As the action potential flows down the axon, when it reaches to the axon terminal, calcium channels open through which calcium ions move into the neuron. After that, neuron makes and stores neurotransmitters in vesicles. As calcium binds to the vesicles, the vesicles carry neurotransmitter towards the presynaptic membrane. When the vesicles come in contact with the axon terminal membrane, the neurotransmitter is released into the synaptic left. It is the gap between the presynaptic and postsynaptic neuron. Now, the neurotransmitter diffuses across the synaptic left and binds to the receptors present on the postsynaptic neuron. It activates the receptors on postsynaptic neuron and then receptors allow sodium ions in the neuron by facilitated diffusion causing an action potential in the postsynaptic membrane. The released neurotransmitters diffuse back into the synaptic left and vesicles recycle some neurotransmitters. Central Neural System Central nervous system is a processing center for the nervous system. It is covered in cranial cavity. It has three-layer connective tissue membranes. The outer layer is dura mater. The middle layer is arachnoid matter and the inner layer is pia mater. These layers are called cranial meninges. The space between pia mater 
and arachnoid matter is filled with cerebrospinal fluid. The human brain can be divided into three parts, forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain.